today I am going to make AC to DC voltage. This is a 12 voltage shunt transformer. 12 0 12 voltage 3 ampere. 12 0 12. One side have has 1.5 ampere. 1.5 and 1.5 it will be 3 ampere. 12 0 12 voltage transformer. The red wire is for the primary 220 voltage and the blue white white is the secondary let's go to uh, use uh, ac voltage ac 220 i'm going to connect with ac our ac voltage is 220 voltage let's use the ac first this i for the ac Be careful, be careful, collect AC, must use tape, connect AD, let's spark, this is 24 voltage, this is 12 voltage, 12 0 12, let's check using in AC mode, how many voltage has? This is the common one, 0 is 12, and it's showing 14.8 voltage. Another side also have 14.8 uh, voltage. Both together have 29 voltage. 29 voltage, 916 voltage. Let's make first uh, using two wire, half wave. If we use two wire, it will be half wave. If we use three wire, it will be full wave. If we use two wire, we it will be 1.5 ampere only. I, I am going to make I am going to make the voltage using two wire. For two wire, we have to take four diode. Four diode we need to make the bridge mode. Positive and positive will be together. Positive and positive and another two negative and negative will be together two negative will be together you can see i am going to make bridge mode now positive and negative will be together another positive and negative will be together this positive and negative is ac another positive and negative is ac and positive positive is positive negative negative is negative let's connect with the capacitor This is positive side, positive side, this is negative side, and this is AC, another up one is the AC. You can see this is the capacitor, this is the negative side, and the negative sign. This is the positive side, has no sign. Let's connect with uh, positive and positive diode positive and capacitor positive will be together diode negative and capacitor negative also will be together if we don't use the capacitor it, it will be the pulsating dc if we use capacitor it will be pure dc so if we need pure dc we have to use the capacitor must if we don't use capacitor also will be dc but it, it's called pulse setting dc if you need pure dc you have we have to use capacitor without capacitor it, it cannot be pure dc this is the ac blue wire is the ac i am going to use only two wire for making your voltage the cutting the legs this is need to cut let's connect the ac side must connect the ac side here is the positive and negative 
lake also using the AC the positive and negative lake let's check how many voltage come out I have to check first in the AC mode uh, AC is the 14.9 voltage 14.9 make it a DC mode in the DC mode we can get 19.9 volts 1.5 amperes because I use half wave for this case I will get half ampere if I use the blue blue wire I can get dual voltage dual voltage but ampere is the same 1.5 Dual voltage is the 29.8 volts. 29.8 volts, but ampere will be the 1.5. Ampere will be 1.5 because I use the full wire. Full wire. Hmm, it can get 14 voltages, 1.5 ampere it's coming out. It's also half wave. Let's go to make a full wave system. In the full wave, we need only two diodes, positive and positive will be together. In the full wave, we need only two diodes and one capacitor. Capacitor positive leg and diode positive leg will be together. Diode capacitor and positive capacitor will be together look now we can get three three loop three wire the negative diode negative and diode neg negative and the capacitor negative this is the AC zero this is also AC Also, AC, so also AC. This is the full wave system. Full wave system. Now, I we can get full ampere 3 ampere 1.5 and 1.5 will be together, but voltage will be half. Voltage will be half 12 only. This is the common negative, this is the positive. We can get 20 voltage, but 3 ampere because I use full wire. Two wire will have the system two will be together together. Two wire will be together. There is the full wire system. Now I am going to make a positive, negative, and ground voltage. Hmm. Positive ground and negative voltage. For this uh, to making the positive, negative, and ground. We have to use two capacitor. We have to use <coughs> two capacitor. One capacitor negative leg and another capacitor positive positive leg will be together. Positive and negative will be together. It's ground. Positive and negative will be ground. You can see positive and negative with the middle. This is ground. Another have the negative voltage. Another right side have the positive voltage. Middle is the ground terminal, negative is the negative terminal, positive is the positive terminal. This system will also need four diode in the bridge mode. Also, have to use like as bridge mode, positive and positive will be together. Two positive will be together, two positive will be together. This is the negative side, this is the positive leg side, this is the ground leg. The positive diode positive leg will be with capacitor positive leg. Another two diode 
will be same system negative negative will be together for the negative voltage two negative will be together and capacitor negative and diode negative will be together this is the negative voltage this leg for negative voltage now now diode positive and negative will be together it, it's this is ac you see another diode positive and negative will be together this is also ac this is also the bridge mode system bridge mode system the middle is the ground voltage right side is the negative you can see the left side is the positive also you can see the white one the middle wire the zero ground will be in the ground voltage another we also another we have another ac positive and negative this is the ac and positive and negative this is the ac I'm connecting both AC. Let's go to check using the multimeter. I'm checking the DC. This is the ground. This is the ground and positive voltage. Positive is 20. Positive is negative is 20. Middle is the ground. Negative is 20. Positive is 20 like this we can make positive ground negative voltage for the amplifier middle is the ground thanks to watching